Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Van Winkle. I'm from the blog A Winkle in Time where I share about how I'm living with and healing from chronic illness and today I am sharing a kind of spend the day with me video where I do some very light gardening, juice a ton of veggies, clean out and organize my fridge and make use of everything I possibly can in there before it goes bad. But this video, it was gonna be one day, turned into two days because for those of you who have chronic illness, you know that day-to-day -day tasks tend to take a lot longer. So I wasn't planning for that, but I am just trying to embrace it because I just needed a lot more downtime between tasks. The day started with some brain retraining. I'm doing primal trust. Um, I had some breakfast and then Ian and I had a wonderful little adventure into an old town close by. It was gorgeous out. We visited some super cute shops and got some really yummy coffee. Mine was decaf, of course. We moved onto this property a little over a year ago and these trees never got pruned so they got really tall so Ian's pruning those while I do some light gardening. This poor apple tree completely cracked under the weight of the snow this year, but Ian wrapped it up in a rope and it's now sprouting. So I think we actually are gonna be able to save it. So I don't plan on sharing a lot about my conditions or my symptoms since the brain retraining program I'm doing doesn't want us to talk about those things as much as possible. But I will say, just for anybody who's interested, if you're dealing with the same condition and you're looking to see how the treatments I'm doing are helping, I'm currently healing from dysautonomia, mold illness, Lyme, Bartonella, and we suspect parasites. And I do have a blog post on my website at awinkleintime.com that goes over my whole health story if you're interested. And I'll be giving updates on the YouTube channel about my experience with the brain retraining program, Primal Trust, as well as some other treatments that I'm doing. Doing the dishes is such a big task for me lately and a lot of days that's like the only thing that I do because it will just take it out of me. So I always need to rest afterwards. I'm trying so hard to be better about that and follow up every activity with a rest. But I'm having a bunch of water and the Aloha coconut chocolate bars, chomps, beef sticks, and some carrots while I catch up on my latest Netflix. That was me dancing to my dishwasher song, if you were wondering. Um, but here I am defrosting some chicken thighs and making chicken teriyaki. One of our favorite meals that we have on regular rotation and it's super easy to make. I love the recipe from Ellie Krieger. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And I'll link that down below. Um, you can also find her on the Food Network. But here I'm just throwing together her super easy marinade. I was gonna make these that day after I let them marinate for a few hours, but I ended up letting them marinate into the next day um, for t about 24 hours and they ended up being amazing. My fridge has been out of control lately and I've had a tough few weeks or a few months so I've just been throwing stuff in there and I really don't want anything to go to waste. So I just grabbed everything that I could that could be juiced because my plan was to make juice every day and now I'm just gonna juice all of it so that none of it goes to waste. And some of it did but actually I was able to salvage a lot of it. Fun fact, I actually did a month long juice fast. It was really intense. About two and a half years ago when I first got really sick and I was trying to figure out what was wrong with me and um, Western medicine had kind of failed me and this was the next thing that I did. And it was amazing. Um, it really did help me. I mean, it wasn't the answer, but it was a really amazing thing. And so I still really love juicing today. I don't do it all the time, but I'm trying to make a habit of it. I love my Nama Will juicer, but it's cold pressed so it takes a lot longer to juice everything, which is great because you get a lot more juice out of the plants, but doing a huge juice like this takes a while. 
and I found that it can get clogged and I'll have to like stop it a couple of times throughout and unclog it. But this time I actually noticed that if I switched up the vegetables that I did and I didn't just do all of the celery and then all of the cucumber, if I followed up the celery, which gets tends to clog in there with some like apples or something, and if I followed up the kale with apples, because kale tends to clog pretty to clog it pretty easily as well, then it kept it going pretty smoothly. And I also would use the butter knife to kind of help pull out the fibers that the juicer was spitting out and i ended up only having to uh, i'm like so excited there because i it took so long to do that but i ended up only having to open it up and unclog it once so that was really nice So another thing I found in my fridge that I was excited to use up and not have go to waste was red cabbage. I had made cabbage soup a few weeks ago and I still had the other half of the shredded cabbage in the fridge and I'm so glad that uh, cabbage lasts as long as it does um, because it was still really fresh. So I decided to make uh, this really yummy dish. It's like a sweet and sour German cabbage recipe that I got from simplyrecipes.com. I'll link that below as well. And I decided to have it with the teriyaki and it kind of sounds weird because it's a German recipe, but it actually went really, really well with the teriyaki. Okay, so now that I have salvaged all that stuff that was going bad and I feel really good about it, it's time to do a quick clean out and organization of my super messy fridge. Also accidentally bought extra zucchini I didn't realize that I already had a package of zucchini in my fridge and I went ahead and bought some and so then I had double and I decided that I would cut this up the extra stuff that I had and put it in the freezer so that I could put it in my smoothies in the morning because zucchini frozen zucchini and smoothies is just so good it adds a lot of nutrition it makes it extra cold it's like adding ice because you really don't taste it This dinner is always so good and so nutritious and filling. I hope you guys try it because it's seriously one of my favorites. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so I can know the type of content you guys want to see most. I'll be coming out with a video every week and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. You can take me high.